search and rescue instruments are flown on low Earth polar orbiting. Medium Earth orbiting and geostationary Earth orbiting satellites provided by the US, Russian Federation, India and the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites. These instruments are capable of detecting signals coming from the Earth's surface transmitted by emergency beacons. The primary types of beacons are Emergency Locator Transmitters ELT. Used by the aviation community, emergency position indicating radio beacons used in the maritime environment, and personal locator beacons PLB used mainly by individuals in multiple environments. It's about saving lives. The COSPAS SARSAT program protects life and property by providing accurate, timely, and reliable distress alert and location information to search and rescue authorities. In short, COSPAS SARSAT works to take that search out of search and rescue. Services are provided worldwide and free of charge for the user in distress. Alerts are provided using satellite and ground systems to detect, process, and relay the transmissions of emergency beacons operating on 406 MHz. COSPAS stands for Kosmicheske Assistima Poiska Arianarich Sudov. SARSAT stands for Search and Rescue Satellite Aided Tracking. In 1950, first beacons were 121.5, 243 MHz emergency locator transmitters ELT designed for military aircraft. Problems no identification of aircraft beacon, designed for audible detection by overflying aircraft, no means of accurately locating ELTs. In 1978, Canada, France and the USA agreed to cooperate on the development of the SARSAT, Low Altitude Polar Orbiting System, to locate existing 121.5 MHz beacons. Russia declares its interest in cooperating with the objective of ensuring interoperability of the COSPAS system with SARSAT. In June 1982, first COSPAS satellite was launched by USSR. In 1983, second COSPAS and first SARSAT satellites were launched by USA, Canada and France. In 1985, system declared operational and 406 MHz beacon technology arrives. First successful search and rescue by COSPAS SARSAT on the 10th of September 1982. Activation mode. Either manual or automatic. Signal. 406 MHz digital and 121.5 MHz analog for homing purpose. Applications. Maritime. Emergency position indicating radio beacon. Aviation. Emergency locator transmitter. Personal land, personal locator beacon. Security, ship security alerting system. Positive attributes of 406 MHz. Every beacon has unique 15 hex identification. Unique ID allows registration with contact information. MHz registered information reduces stress on search and rescue assets. More powerful transmitter and digital signal increases accuracy of location by Doppler processing. Global coverage provided by store and forward capability of COSPAS SARSAT satellites. The system consists of a network of satellites, ground stations, mission control centers, and rescue coordination centers. When an emergency beacon is activated, the signal is received by a satellite and relayed to the nearest available ground station. The ground station, called a local user terminal, processes the signal and calculates the position from which it originated. This position is transmitted to a mission control center where it is joined with identification data and other information on that beacon. The mission control center then transmits an alert message to the appropriate rescue coordination center based on the geographic location of the beacon. 
If the location of the beacon is in another country's area of responsibility, then the alert is transmitted to that country's mission control center. The SARSAT system uses satellites in low Earth and geostationary orbits to detect and locate aviators, mariners, and land based users in distress. The system is designed to provide distress alert and location data to assist search and rescue operations, using spacecraft and ground facilities to detect and locate the signals of distress beacons operating on 406 MHz or 121.5 MHz. The search and rescue satellite system provides alerting services for the following types of beacons. Emergency Locator Transmitters, ELT, for aviation use. Emergency position indicating radio beacons for maritime use. Personal locator beacons, PLB, for applications which are neither aviation or maritime. Beacons operating at 406 MHz and 121.5 MHz are compatible with the COSPAS, SARSAT, system. However, the operational capabilities of the system are different for these two types of beacons. An analog 121.5 MHz distress beacon is a small electronic device that emits a radio signal to help rescue authorities locate your position in a life-threatening emergency. The signal is picked up by polar orbiting satellites and aircraft monitoring the 121.5 MHz frequency. When these devices are detected by satellite, you can be located to within 20 kilometers. Aircraft can home on your beacon signals leading them directly to the target. Detection takes an average of 90 minutes but can be up to 5 hours. The 406 MHz distress beacon emits both an analog 121.5 MHz signal and a digital 406 MHz signal. The digital signal carries a code which identifies the beacon while the analog signal is to enable aircraft to home on location. That digital code can be cross-referenced with a database of registered 406 MHz beacon owners which identifies who is in trouble and what type of situation they are in. This enables the search and rescue authorities to tailor a response to the emergency situation. A 406 MHz beacon narrows its position to within 5 km. This can be reduced to just 120 meters if the beacon includes a global positioning system. Detection of 406 MHz beacons can be near instantaneous from a geostationary satellite. ELT and PLB operate on the 406 MHz frequency. Each 406 MHz beacon transmits a unique digital code that identifies the type of beacon and that allows registration data to be associated with the beacon. The registration data provides information such as the beacon owner, the type of platform the beacon is associated with, emergency points of contact, and much more. After the satellite receives a beacon signal, it relays the signal to Earth stations referred to as local user terminals. The local user terminal processes the data, computes the location of the distress beacon, and transmits an alert message to its respective mission control center via a data communication network. The mission control center performs matching and merging of alert messages with other received messages, geographically sorts the data, and transmits a distress message to another mission control center, an appropriate search and rescue authority such as a National Rescue Coordination Center or a foreign search and rescue point of contact. The Rescue Coordination Center investigates the beacon alert and launches assets to find the parties in distress when necessary. Low Earth Orbiting Search and Rescue Satellites Low Earth Orbiting Satellites provide the ability to detect and locate 406 MHz alerts worldwide. Low Earth orbiting satellites orbit at an altitude of approximately 850 kilometers and orbit the Earth once every 102 minutes. Typically, each satellite monitors the Earth for various weather and climate data. Yet, each satellite also carries a search and rescue repeater which receives and retransmits 406 MHz signals anytime the satellite is in view of a ground station.
also carried is a search and rescue processor which receives 406 MHz transmissions, provides measurements of the frequency and time, then retransmits this data in real time. Geostationary Orbiting Search and Rescue Satellites Geostationary satellites are capable of continually viewing large areas of the Earth. These geostationary satellites are also able to provide immediate alerting and identification of 406 MHz beacons. Emergency beacons determine their location using a GPS receiver that is either integrated into the beacon, called a location protocol beacon, or fed by an external GPS receiver. This accurate location information is then encoded into the 406 MHz signal that is transmitted by the beacon. The mission control center then receives that signal with the location and notifies the rescue coordination center accordingly. Medium altitude earth orbiting search and rescue satellites. The next evolution of the COSPAS SARSAT system is the introduction of the medium earth orbiting satellites. With a footprint more than seven times as large as a low Earth orbiting satellite satellite, the medium Earth orbiting satellite's constellation provides for real-time alerting worldwide without the need to store the data and relay it at a later time. It utilizes search and rescue payloads on GNSS satellites in the GPS, GLONAS, and Galileo global positioning constellations. These satellites operate at an orbit altitude between 19,000 and 24,000 kilometers. The constellation, when completed, will consist of at least 24 satellites arranged in orbits so that no less than four search and rescue equipped satellites will be visible from anywhere on Earth at any time. Reverse triangulation algorithms using frequency difference of arrival and time difference of arrival will allow for near instantaneous global detection and position fixes after one beacon burst. Local user terminal. COSPAS, SARSAT, ground stations are called local user terminals, LUTs. These satellite receiving units are the ground stations that receive emergency beacon distress alerts. Once a signal is received and processed at the LUT, it is transmitted to the Mission Control Center, MCC, that operates the particular LUT. The LUTs are fully automated and completely unmanned at all times. Mission Control Center. Receive alerts from national LUTs and foreign MCCs. Validate, match and merge alerts to improve location accuracy and determine the correct destination. Query 406 MHz registration database and transmit registration info with distress alert. Transmit alerts to rescue coordination centers and search and rescue points of contact and filters redundant data. Most MCC functions are handled automatically. No manual intervention equals efficiency. A mission control center serves as the hub of information sent by the COSPAS SARSAT system. The main function of an MCC is to collect, store, and sort alert data from LUTs and other MCCs, and to distribute alert data to RCCs and other MCCs. All COSPAS SARSAT MCCs are interconnected through nodal MCCs that handle data distribution in a particular region of the world. Rescue Coordination Centers RCCs Rescue Coordination Centers RCCs are operated by the Coast Guard, Defense, State Admiration, Air Force. RCCs receive COSPAS SARSAT distress alerts sent by the MCC and are responsible for coordinating the rescue response to the distress. Each service takes a slightly different approach to search and rescue. COSPAS SARSAT is an international humanitarian search and rescue system that uses satellites to detect and locate emergency beacons carried by ships aircraft, or individuals.